Hello, everybody. My name is Hugh Peterson. I was hoping to be joined by Vicki Howard, uh, but for some reason, the webinar was not being cooperative and she wasn't able to join. She's still trying, so she may join us. Otherwise, uh, you just get me today. We'll, uh, we'll kind of get going here. Um, we're starting a new program, a new package of, uh, of webinars here, new series called QA Essentials. And every month we're planning on doing a uh, kind of a new touch on on some of our uh, some of our product line. Uh, they they, they kind of go together um, as far as uh, like today we're doing the must haves. You know, it's kind of a uh, you know a basic kit to have for um, for any uh, uh, radiation oncology department for for doing uh, doing their QA. And um, that being said, I'm going to kind of move on and we'll we'll get going and hopefully Vicki uh, can join us uh, if uh, we get things ironed out. Uh, let me see if I can get my PowerPoint moving. Here we go. Uh, just a couple of quick house housekeeping uh, notes uh, today. Um, the webinar is being recorded uh, for better or for worse uh, <laughs> today, I guess. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, it's being recorded. So if you did register, you will get a uh, an email with the link, and you can feel free to watch it again, uh, or you can feel free uh, if you have colleagues that weren't able to attend, feel free to um, pass on that link and uh, and share that with them. Um, and you're all on mute to just because of the number of people in the meeting. Uh, it gets a little bit of uh, uh, crazy if people are uh, you know talking over themselves, trying to ask questions, things like that. So there is a box at the uh, a dialogue box for questions on your uh, on your um, interface that you can enter those in and we'll address those at the end um, quick quick note about standard imaging uh, we're based in middleton wisconsin just outside of uh outside of madison uh, we were founded in 1989 so we're almost getting on uh, 35 years of uh of incorporation uh, started out early on with our well chamber which i'm sure uh, most if not all of you are familiar with uh, was our initial product and it sits uh um, dutifully in uh, in probably 90%, if not more, uh, of radiation clinics that are doing brachytherapy um, today. Uh, and we design a full manufacturer um, and manufacture a full suite of QA products for radiation therapy from the items I'm talking to today to our uh, our phantom lines. We have a 3D water phantom, a 1D water phantom, which I'll touch on today briefly. Uh, We've got um, stereotactic phantoms for both film and uh, and ion chambers for for doing uh, your stereotactic QA. We recently acquired uh, IMT, which is a, a phantom manufacturer out of uh, out of New York, and they've got a number of different uh, different phantoms for QA, both uh, both head and neck uh, and stereotactic, but also uh, um, SBRT uh, phantoms for for the for the body uh, as well. And you know we're we're planning on doing a uh, um, essentials uh, session on those phantoms uh, upcoming as well. So keep an eye on our website for uh, for those. But uh, like today, um, I just want to kind of get moving into uh, our radiation therapy essentials. Like I said, we're kind of going to touch quickly uh, on um, on four of our our lines here. We've got our QA beam checker, which is our daily QA device. We've got our dose V one D water phantom, our supermax electrometer. And our uh, X-ray and line of ion chambers. Um, Vicky was uh, um, going to be kind of touching on the supermax and X-ray and chambers, so I, I have to admit and uh, confess I haven't seen her slides yet, so I'm not sure what's in there. But I'm going to try and walk us through it uh, as we uh, as we get there. But uh, I'm going to start out with the uh, the QA beam checker. So um, you know you may or may not be familiar with the QA beam checker. It's it's kind of a workhorse uh, daily device uh, in our line of uh, products. Uh, it's an ion chamber based uh, um, array with eight parallel chambers, uh, parallel plate chambers, I should say. Um, it uh, utilizes three of those chambers for uh, energy detection. It's, it's a, and I'll touch on that in a minute as well. Uh, it's water cooled material, the housing for both photons and electrons, uh, measures uh, beam constancy, flatness and symmetry uh, for just about any energy from uh, cobalt 60 to uh, 6 MV to 25 MV photons and 6 MV MEV to 25 MEV uh, electrons. You have the ability uh, with the unit to uh, utilize it in up to nine individual radi radiation treatment uh, rooms. So it can handle up to nine different machines. You have easy trending results and uh, generating reports so that uh, when you're getting your uh, 
your audits or your accreditations, uh, that information can easily be uh, disseminated and put at your fingertips uh, for presentation to uh, to the accreditation crew. And um, there's also a, a power data cradle for easy charging and software communication to download the uh, the stored readings. You know that's kind of the beauty of the um, of the uh, uh, QA beam checker is it's a, it's it's used in typically used in a wire free mode where you just place the unit on the couch. There's no no cables, uh, no wires uh, connecting the units, battery operated. Um, you place the unit on the couch and uh, deliver those uh, deliver those beams. It will uh, give you a quick readout of any uh, any issue uh, if there's a flatness issue or uh, or a symmetry issue or a constancy issue. It'll let you know right at the uh, display there, as you see where it says the RDY to indicate that it's ready for uh, for beam. Uh, get those immediate pass fail indications uh, for each of those beam parameters. Uh, but there is also, you know, if you do want to use it in a kind of what quote, quote unquote real time mode, as we call it, you can connect it uh, via cable or Bluetooth to uh, to a PC, and then you can, you know, see the results uh, at the uh, at the console um, monitor uh, as you uh, as you do your measurements. But one of the key features of the um, of the, the the beam check plus is that automatic energy detection we've got build up uh, over the three of the um, energy detecting uh, chambers and that basically allows the unit to essentially learn what um, what beam and what beam characteristics you're uh, you're using so if you're doing a 6x beam or you're doing a 6 triple f beam or 10 it will actually um, kind of uh, record those idiosyncrasies for each each individual beam and then um, when you deliver that beam next time for your actual, you know, when you baseline it, and then when you deliver it for your actual measurement, uh, you know, the forthcoming measurements uh, on a daily basis, the device will actually recognize that particular beam and report on that particular beam. So if you deliver a 6X and you have that baseline, the device will go, oh, I know that, that's my 6X beam, and it will report on that accordingly. And all those, all those readings are stored. Um, and once they're stored, uh, you know, we'll store up to 30 days worth of data and you can upload that right to your, uh, uh, right to your PC, the included software. And that's where you can, uh, see your trend lines and, and print out reports and things like that. So it's a very easy device to use. Um, also, uh, has a wide range of functionality, not only your static beams, but we have a, a number of different dynamic QA modes, uh, for rapid arc and BMAT, we've got uh, some specific tomotherapy, uh, uh, some specific tomotherapy tests as well for both uh, their dynamic and their static beam, as well as laser, uh, the internal lasers too. Um, and then we'll also do constancy checks uh, for your wedged uh, beams, also either physical or EDW, um, whichever uh, you have or, or both. So that kind of uh, is a quick run through on the Beam Checker Plus. Like I said, you know, after the fact, if you want uh, more information, feel free to visit our website. You can get uh, get in touch with our uh, our our sales group or our marketing group, and we can uh, set up more um, in depth uh, more in depth um, webinars and or uh, discussions with you. Uh, we can have a we our our different. Uh, uh, region representatives can can visit you with a, a demo unit to uh, to show you uh, it uh, in person, and uh, we can go from there. But the second thing I want to talk about was our dose view water phantom, our 1D water phantom, I should say, because you know that for doing your TG51 or TRS398 uh, uh, monthly uh, measurements, you know you need a good, uh, um, reliable, and accurate uh, 1D water phantom, and um, you know the uh, the Dose View 1D Water Phantom has has been around a while. We've done some uh, improvements to it uh, and some some tweaks over the uh, the years um, that we've had it available. Uh, a couple of years ago, we um, we added a different uh, lead screw, so it gives a uh, 0.05 millimeter accuracy of position and repeatability over the entire travel distance. So we kind of tightened that up with the new lead screw. Um, We've added uh, three-point leveling, so you can make sure that your device is, uh, you know, well vertical for uh, for your depth measurements as well. And it does have the um, the attached pendant as well. The attached pendant uh, gives you a readout of location, the ability to move the phantom, uh, the chamber, I should say, uh, obviously set your origin, things like that. So you know that's right on the right on the uh, the pendant. Uh, 
integrates uh, directly with our uh, our DoseView uh, software, um, and then you can you know basically run the one in the Water Phantom and the uh, and the electrometers either our Max 4000 uh, Max 4000 Plus uh, or our Supermax electrometers for um, for functioning uh, with the uh, with the Water Phantom uh, in in concert with each other to uh, to do those uh, point measurements or your um, or your depth dose measurements. And you know, along with that, you know, we have the uh, included uh, DoseView 1D software. And um, you know, the nice thing about the Phantom, the Phantom software, is we started out. You know, we do have a 3D water Phantom, and we developed the uh, the software uh, for that. And we get um, you know very high praise for our uh, our easy to use, uh, very very navigable uh, software. So we decided a couple years ago to um, maybe about a year and a half ago, I guess it was. So it wasn't all that long ago. Um, incorporate our uh, our DoseView 1D software, um, or our 3D software with the 1D software. So now it's a single pack, and you can do both your 3D measurements and your 1D. Um, but the nice thing about it, it's very easy to navigate. It's uh, very intuitive menus for your setting up your scan cues, for your doing your actual measurements and your analysis. Uh, the active, uh, you know, do active active depth scanning and single point measurements. Uh, uh, you know, right at your fingertips. So you can either do your um, your full on, uh, you know, PDDs, or you can do just single point measurements as uh, as the need may arise. So you get that easy uh, PDD table generation as well uh, for um, for the different energies as uh, as you set up in the uh, the Phantom. And we have it import into any number of uh, treatment planning systems uh, for uh, for those PDD tables as well. And we like to say there's really there's no hidden features. Everything is at your fingertips. So it's basically it's uh, you know the 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 menus are right right there. You have basically three tabs. You have a setup tab where you set up your cues. Um, you have your measure tab where you do the actual measurement, and you have your analysis tab, and that's where you uh, get your analysis. There's a number of different filters in there for uh, for um, normalizing and and dose conversion things like that. So that's all um, right there right there for you as well. So it's a very, very easy software. And like I said, if you want to take a look at it a little closer, uh, feel free to uh, get in touch with us um, and we can set up a, a full on uh, demo of the software for you as well. Happy to do that. So uh, moving on, now I'm going to uh, kind of jump into uh, to pretend I'm Vicky now. Um, Vicky Thank is... Thank you. I'm, oh. I'm on board if you can hear me. I can. <laughs> I love Hi, Vicky. Welcome. As a visitor. Good, good. <laughs> so Ooh. technical difficulties that restarting my computer. All right. Press, it's, pressure's it's, off of me then. It's this key tool, right? Just just restart it and it magically works. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Follows, fails, reboot, right? <laughs> yes. Well, thank so, you. Um, yeah, so... I can, uh, do a quick introduction if you don't mind. Um, sure, go ahead. Yeah, so Vicki, uh, she's a certified medical physicist um, with over 20 years of experience as a uh, ABR certified uh, oncology physicist, a department leader. And, you know, recently she kind of uh, moved into the, um, the corporate world and uh, we're lucky to have her. Um, as And she is uh, kind of one of our product managers slash uh, um, specialists for uh, our physics side of things. So I, that being said, I'm going to pass it uh, over to you. All right. Thanks. I will have to kind of cue you when to switch slides. Not a problem. Yep, for sure. Thank you for that. Um, but yes, uh, from my many years of experience in the clinic, I certainly um, appreciate the value of having like a fast, easy daily QA beam checker device that's reliable and easy to use for the therapist, as well as, you know, and understand the usefulness of a, a 1D tank for, you know, quick, easy and accurate TG51 or TRS398 calibration. So with that being said, I'm going to dive a little deeper into kind of our essential QA toolbox and talk about our Supermax electrometer and our array of X-ray and chambers that are known for their stability and the durability. So you can switch to the next slide, please. Easier said than done. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, so the Supermax electrometer is standard imaging's highest quality and most versatile electrometer with an easy to use touchscreen interface 
and a quick one minute warm up time so you can be set up and ready to go. You don't have to worry about plugging it in many minutes prior and waiting around for that. It has two independent channels seamlessly interfacing with the DOSVIEW 1D tank that you discussed. So that allows a quick and easy PDD measurements uh, with either a reference detector or not, um, but those two chambers make that possible. So you can get you know, quick and easy TG51 calibrations uh, with this uh, electrometer as well. It also has a comprehensive built-in chamber library and check source database. And in addition, measured data can be easily exported on a USB for importing to your computer for further analysis, which, you know, definitely when you're doing annuals or especially commissioning, it's really helpful to be able to do that and analyze some things offline. All right, you can switch up. Why is it it's taking its own sweet time today? It's, yeah, this time it's not my computer, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> So some of the features, um, you know, each channel has an independent bias and range control. The bias can range from um, minus 1000 to positive 1000 volts. And it has a high and low rate ranges um, with extremely high resolution for both charge and amps. So this range control allows the supermax electrometer to be highly versatile. And it can accommodate, you know, our microionization chambers, uh, even our X-rated W1 scintillator that can be used for, you know, very high dose rate, small field sizes. Uh, of course, the classic farmer chamber or your well type bracky chambers, and even the extremely large volume chambers like the A8 for any background readings. Uh, you can change your next slide, please. So the Supermax meets or exceeds the applicable requirements set forth by IEC 60731 for a reference grade electrometer. So this has made it a very well respected and recognized device. We have a very large user base. And as you can see from the chart I included here, we do exceed in every spec uh, involved from linearity, a very little drift, zero shift, a repeatability is excellent, a very good high range response and stabilization, and uh, stable with range changing and stray radiation effects. So overall, you know, the, the Supermax will meet all your needs in the clinic from, you know, your, your basic calibrations to, uh, you know, measurements you may need to make for very small fields and high dose rate and that that sort of thing. So definitely an essential tool for your physics uh, QA box in the clinic. All right, next slide, please. So I'm then going to uh, dive a little deeper into some of our x radon chambers. I'm sure most all of you have, are familiar with and have used many of our chambers. Um, but I will give you some more details about some that you know, maybe evolving into needing to become a part of your essential QA toolbox. Um, so I will give you some details there. You can go to the next slide, please, Hugh. So we have an array of x ray and ion chambers for all your uh, physics needs from absolute dosimetry to scanning. Uh, we have options for that are good for hybrid scanning and small volume uh, dosimetry. We have stereotactic microchambers. So our whole array will address all your needs within the clinic. So our farmer chambers are the A19 and the A12. They are 0.6 cc's and waterproof for absolute dosimetry. And, you know, of course, you all know that this is, these are main staples in your clinic. Um, the a difference between the A19 and the A12 is basically the shape. A19 is kind of your standard classic shape that fits in all cavities. So say you have some old phantoms uh, that are milled for this, you know, you can still buy that chamber that fits without having to switch out your phantom. Now the A12 is really optimized, an, an optimized hemispheric design, and that gives better performance. So, you know, if you, if you don't have the old phantom, you're better off with the A12 because it does perform a little bit better, um, but it does give you that flexibility of choice from the user perspective. 
Most all of you, I'm sure, have done commissioning or annual QA for hours on end, and you're more than familiar with the uh, scanning chambers. We have the A28, which is a 0.125 cc chamber. It has an eight millimeter spherical spot size, and that allows us to eliminate any orientation discrepancies. So, you know, there's no issues with scanning um, cross plane or in plane. Next, we have a hybrid scanning option in small volume, the A1SL. It's 0.053 cc's. And this really is just a good versatile chamber, especially for, say, your flattening filter free beam calibration. It gives you like a good balance between, you know, being able to scan quickly as well as take accurate point dose measurements for all your field sizes. So now, it, it wasn't that long ago that really having a stereotactic microchamber maybe was an essential part of your QA toolbox, but really these days, most centers, if they aren't already delivering stereotactic uh, treatments of some sort, they're heading in that direction. So they need this for their commissioning, at least. Um, so we have the A26 uh, reference detector, which is 0.015 cc, and the A16, which is, is even smaller at 0.007 cc. So the A26 is best for small pinpoint field sizes, uh, less than 4.3 millimeters squared. And the A16 is our smallest volume chamber available at 3.4 millimeters squared. So again, as I said, these are ideal for super small field sizes. Um, so more and more, this needs to be uh, an essential part of, of some of your ion chambers in your clinic. Just wanted to point out that all of the above chambers, except the A16, are available in MR compatible versions as well. If you could switch the slide, please. Here. So I just wanted to dive slightly deeper into our A26 uh, chamber for SRS. Just in case this is new to some of you, um, I wanted to kind of go over some of the, the details and the specs relative to what's expected for the reference class. So in this table, you can see that we, we definitely meet or very much exceed um, the requirements for such a chamber. Uh, the leakage is extremely small at 0.01%. Uh, the polarity effect is 0.06%. Uh, ion recombination is small, and we have a very small polarity dependence. Um, also, the chamber is very stable um, and meets, meets specs in that, that respect as well. So definitely uh, something, if you haven't already considered it, um, you should look into um, making sure you're prepared and get a, ahead of the curve for some of these small field dosimetry measurements. All right, you can switch the slide, please. Okay, so now, um, you know, we just want to thank you for attending. Uh, we're going to open it up to any questions. Uh, you can type your questions in the chat and we'll uh, look at them. We'll give you a few minutes to, uh, to enter those if you have them. Uh, if you don't have any questions now, uh, feel free to visit our website, standardimaging.com. Also, you can watch this recording and, and other previous recordings uh, on standardimaging.com webinar. And of course, this is just the first of a series of QA Essential webinars that we will be hosting here at Standard Imaging. So please join us uh, in the upcoming series as well. Thank you so much. Great, thank you very much. Hope uh, you all have a good rest of your day. Um, and like Vicki said, if you go to our website and you do want to get in contact with uh, someone in particular as far as your regional representative or uh, one of our international uh, um, representatives, we can certainly assist you with that. Uh, there's contact information on our website. I hope you all have a uh, good rest of your day or evening, depending on where you're located. Thanks very much. Thank you.